What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is that time of the year. Golden Globes time! That's right, the 2013 Golden Globes will take place tonight. Um, I don't know what channel, but it will be on at H to 11. Doesn't say what channel on my uh, papers here, but doesn't say. I don't know. But this video, I'm going to say some of the categories and the nominations for those categories, and I'll predict which film is going to win out of those categories. And then, after the Golden Globes are done, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next two days, I will post the uh, video of who won the categories, which I described here. And uh, if I got any of the predictions correct, I will do the same for the Academy Awards, which will take place February something. 20 something maybe. I don't know. But let's talk about Best Original Song. Nominees are For You from Act of Valor, Not Running Anymore from Stand Up Guys, Safe and Sound from The Hunger Games, Skyfall from Skyfall, and Suddenly from Les Miserables. I think Skyfall is going to take it away. Next up, uh, I'm going to give uh, my predictions for Best Original Score. Michael Dana for Life of Pi, Alexandra Desplat for Argo, David O. Russell for Silver Linings Playbook, Quentin T What? I keep reading this wrong thing. Best Original Score, Motion Picture, Michael Dana, Life of Pi, Alexandra Desplat, Argo, Dario Morenoli, Anna Karenina, Tom Twiker, Johnny Kilmick, Klimek, and Ryan Rinhold Heel for Cloud Atlas, and John Williams for Lincoln. I'm going to go John Williams for Lincoln. I think he's going to take it away. How about best performance by an actor in a supporting role? Alan Arkin, Argo, Leonardo DiCaprio, Django Unchained, Philip Seymour Hoffman, The Master, Tommy Lee Jones for Lincoln, and Christoph Waltz for Django Unchained. I think Leonardo DiCaprio might just take this one away. How about best performance by an actress in a supporting role in a motion picture? Amy Adams, The Master, Sally Field, Lincoln, Anne Hathaway, Les Miserables, Helen Hunt in the sessions and Nicole Kidman in the paper boy. Um, I think Sally Field is going to take it away, but it's going to be really close between them and Anne Hathaway. Uh, best animated feature film. We've got Brave. We've got Frank and Weenie, Hotel Transylvania, Wreck-It Ralph, and Rise of the Guardians. I think Wreck-It Ralph is going to take that one away. I think that might be a no-brainer, but you never know. Frank and Weenie might come up, resurrect himself once again, and take the award home for himself. All right, now it's getting to the big stuff here. Best performance by an actor in a motion picture, comedy, or musical: Jack Black and Bernie, um, Emily Blunt for Salmon Fishing in the Yemen, Judy Dench for Skyfall. No, not Skyfall. Judy Dench for The Best Exotic, Mary Girls Hotel, Jennifer Lawrence the Silver Linings Playbook, Maggie Swit Smith and Quart Quartret, and Meryl Streep in Hope Springs. It's very, very close, I think. It's going to be close between Jessica, not Jessica, Jennifer Lawrence and Meryl Streep. But, if my prediction is correct, Meryl Streep will take that win. Uh, how about we talk about best performance by an actor in a motion picture? What the heck? I keep reading the wrong thing. Listen to me. I just said best performance by an actor in a motion picture. I said Jack Black, Bernie, and then I said Emily Blunt for salmon fishing. <laughs> that's, okay, that's not the same damn category. Best performance by an actress. I told you the nominees already. X out Jack Black because he's not an actress. Uh, I'm going to say uh, Meryl Streep is going to win that one. Best performance by an actor in a motion picture, comedy musical, Jack Black, Bernie, Bradley Cooper, Silver Linings Playbook, Hugh Jackman, Les Miserables, Ian, Ewan McGregor for Salmon Fishing in the Yemen, and Bill Murray for Hyde Park on Hudson. I think Bradley Cooper is going to take it away for Silver Linings Playbook. Best motion picture, comedy, or musical. The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel. Les Miserables, Moonrise Kingdom, Salmon Fishing in the Yemen, and Silver Linings Playbook. Silver Linings is probably going to take the win, but I'm going to go out on a high note here, and I'm going to predict Moonrise Kingdom will win that one. How about Best Performance by an Actor in a Motion Picture Drama? 
Daniel Day Lewis, Lincoln. Richard Gere, a Tribridge. John Hawks, The Sessions. Joaquin Phoenix, The Master. And Denzel Washington in Flight. I uh, think Daniel Day Lewis is going to take that one away. Uh, how about Best Performance by an Actress in a Motion Picture Drama? Jessica Chastain, Zero Dark Thirty. Marion Coltiard, Rust and Bone, Helen Mirren, Hitchcock, Naomi Watts, The Impossible, and Rachel White's The Deep Blue Sea. I think Jessica Chastain is going to take that one away. And finally, the moment we've all been waiting for, Best Motion Picture Drama, Argo, Django Unchained, Life of Pi, Lincoln, Zero Dark Thirty, and The Dark Knight Rises. I'm just kidding, The Dark Knight Rises is not nominated for anything. What's that all about? They didn't nominate The Dark Knight Rises for an Oscar? A Golden Globe? Well, what, what, is, what, 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 what is with these people, really? Seriously, I'm not going to complain about it, but there's something wrong with these people. There really is. But, uh... I didn't even tell you what my prediction was. Lincoln will win. I hope Lincoln wins. It's really a competition between all these films, but the big competitions, I'm going to say Argo and Lincoln... Maybe Zero Dark Thirty, uh, it's got, a uh, something going on there, too. No idea. But, uh, don't forget to tune in to the Golden Globes tonight. I will tell you, uh, if I got any of the ones right, what I have predicted. And, and that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this Video, I can't say a review, it is a video, so thank you for watching it, and over and out. Let me turn off the camera here.